welcome back to the channel. Today I am joining the Big Wayne Gang once again. Right here, got my fresh new Wayne from Adro USA for the Veloster N. First, I need to go find the car and then we'll get into it. Here she is. If you guys remember, I recently installed the Adro USA carbon fiber front lip on the Veloster. Here's a better look at it. I love how it like grabs on to the stock bumper and goes up the sides. Absolutely beautiful. We also installed their carbon fiber side skirts. It like goes under the stock side skirts add some width on there, add some aggression, and then we also put on their carbon fiber diffuser. I apologize, my car is super, super dirty right now, but we already got those Adro USA parts on the car, and I've been waiting for their wing to come in. They actually just produced a whole new batch of them. And when I first found out about Adra USA, one of the very first things that caught my eye was their wing for the Veloster N. It is so beautiful and so amazing. It very much like follows similar stock lines of this wing and just makes it that much more aggressive and it's carbon fiber. I love it so much and I'm so excited to put it on the car today. So I'm gonna stop talking and let's unbox this thing. Just kidding, we are not to the point where we are opening it yet. Chris came in and he was very mad that the car was this dirty, as was I, but I was gonna clean it afterwards, but Chris is insisting that we at least wash it down before the wing install, which I'm not gonna argue with. Wow. Wow. So now we're gonna get a quick little spray down and then they'll make it a lot nicer. Take our old wing off, put our new one on. So yeah, really quick car wash break and then we'll get into it. Dang, I thought we were just getting a quick rinse down. We're going full soap service. Oh, thank you, Chris. I'm gonna pull her back into the shop and we can pick up where we left off. Okay, where were we? All right, our wing is unboxed. It's in three pieces. The end piece or end card is separate. So I'm gonna attach it and then hold it up next to our stock wing so you can see the similarities and differences. But this one is absolutely beautiful. You can see that it's following like a similar shape as the stock one, just way more aggressive and all carbon fiber, which I love. I love it so much. Check this out. And they even have Adro USA hardware. I don't know if you can see their logo on that. Baller move, baller move, Adro. This is so badass. I cannot wait to have this on the car. I love it. I can show you the comparison sort of from the side. Obviously, it's like a much aggressive, obviously it's a much more aggressive like side piece, which is really cool. And it sort of scoops up in the center on this one compared to the stock one. Ah! This is gonna look so cool. All right, so this is our Adro USA carbon fiber wing. I'm obsessed. So we're gonna get the stock one off the car and then install this one on.
Our wing is off. The car looks so different without it. From factory, I will say the Veloster N wing is one of my favorites. I mean, it off the car looks like a more aggressive aftermarket one that you'd be buying for any car, really. So I really, really do like their stock wing and we're just gonna level up the aggression a bit with a carbon fiber Adro USA one. So I will say this was a little bit harder to take off the wing than other people on the internet made it seem. Everyone else's video removing a wing, they undo those 10 millimeter nuts, they disconnect the wiring harness for the brake light and the tube where the wiper fluid comes through. And then they just lifted it off, just like you saw Chris and I just lift this wing off. But what they do not tell you is that it might be a bit of a struggle because of this double-sided like 3M adhesive that is underneath the wing. So I was expecting to just lift it off and it'd be easy and then here Chris and I are struggling for 10 minutes because we're trying to figure out why it just wasn't coming off. That is why. So now knowing that, I would recommend maybe trying to heat it up from the back here before you go to lift it off. It could also be because this is a newer car and I haven't had it like sitting outside as long, getting heat into it and wear. So maybe other people just came off easier, but this was a struggle. We ended up just lifting the wing up and then me like poking it from underneath to break it loose. Nonetheless, our stock wing is completely off. And we're actually going to be utilizing the bottom piece of the stock wing that has this brake light integrated into it, which I absolutely love. So I need to separate the top piece from the bottom piece with two screws right there. We have a top one and a bottom one on each side. And then we're going to be putting on our carbon fiber top piece. There's actually quite a few screws holding that top piece onto the bottom and we're running into our same 3M like double sided adhesive tape issue that we had on the car getting this wing off. So right here, right here, and right here, there's adhesive tape that is not wanting to come off without a fight. So in this scenario, I am gonna use the heat gun, warm it up just a little bit in those three areas and then get this top piece off. Top piece is off. The main areas that you need to use the heat gun on are the front and back, the sides above our brake light, and then the front and back on this piece. Definitely made it a lot easier than trying to just yank it off. All right, the bottom piece is all cleaned up and I replaced all of the double-sided 3M strips with new ones. The old ones luckily just came off pretty easily. So that is ready to go. I'm gonna take the back side off and then we can put our carbon fiber piece on the top. Like I said, the Adro wing came with all new hardware. So we're gonna be using all of this to secure it. double-sided sticky pieces back on the actual car where those old ones were. So now we should be able to just put our wing on. Hey. hey! Look at her! She's wicked. Ow! It's so much more aggressive. This is my dream wing for this car. It's pretty complete actually from a aesthetic standpoint. We're gonna add some rally like mud flaps on next in the same video. 
But in terms of like overall aesthetics, this wing is like what I was waiting for to top it all off. The only other thing aesthetically that I might be adding would be a vented hood, but I'm gonna paint match it and only leave the vents exposed carbon. But that was it. I've wanted this wing since before I even had the car. She looks spicy. All right, the Vlosteran is officially a part of the Big Wayne Gang. I love it. I love it so much. And now I'm gonna throw on some Rally mud flaps. I got some that are red, and I think it's just gonna tie in very, very well. So we'll throw those on and then give you some nice B-roll of our final look. Here are our mud flaps. I just absolutely love this look. I have these on the Evo as well, and now we're gonna put them on the Vloster. First mud flap is on. It comes with the bracket that you install at the bottom, and then you use the screws that were already in the liner to secure the top and it came with two spacers that are behind this to make sure that this sits further out. So one down, I'll put the other one on and we'll see how it looks in the back. Good. We are bolting this girl up. I love it already. We only have the rears on. Man, I'm so happy that I went with red. It's really just tying in all of our other red accents along the car. Rear is officially done. Now I'm gonna throw on the fronts and see what she looks like outside. Absolutely love it. Are you ready to see it? It's so good. Boom. Stutting on him. What? I love this so much. video I absolutely love my big wang on this car and shout out to Adro USA for making the big wang so we can join the big wang gang for the Vloster and that is pretty much it in terms of aesthetic mods for this car I also had to throw on the red rally mud guards because I just I'm a huge fan of that more aggressive rally style look up next for the Vloster N is getting this girl on track now I've been trying desperately to find a track day nearby for this car it just hasn't worked out timing wise but I think we are 
in luck. So in the next video for the Veloster N, I want to take this girl out on track. I want to have a baseline for this car at a specific track and it's mostly stock form so that when we do more bolt-on and performance mods to this car we can go back and kind of judge the car from that baseline. So that is what I've been trying to make happen and I think there is a track day coming up soon for us. Let me know what you guys think of our big wing in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one.